on this episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Television for the Avid Angler, powered by Mercury Marine. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Taco Marine, makers of Shade Fin, a lightweight, versatile shade system that easily attaches into rod holders, tops, and arches for convenient portable boat shade. Shade Fin, shadow and seconds, boat outfitters, where owners and builders go for replacement parts and hard to find hardware. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer, has the right trailer at the right price. What's up, guys? Welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We've got a sick show in store for you today. We are offshore of Marathon in the heart of the Florida Keys. We're on board our Mercury Powered CV. I'm Captain Mike, got my brother Mara co hosting the show. And we are looking for what is perhaps everyone's favorite game fish, dolphin. I'll tell you what, what an incredible fish, right? They're found all over the state of Florida, really almost all over the world. You know, it's such a popular game fish. But here in the Keys, we're very, very fortunate. These fish, they migrate around the North Atlantic. They go all the way up the East Coast, out around the Sargasso Sea. They catch the currents out there, come way back down around the islands. And then again, they follow that current and they smack right into the Florida Keys. So we're really privileged to have a shot at these fish before a lot of other guys do. Now, of course, peak season, May, June, July, spring through fall. Doesn't mean you can't catch dolphin every day of the year, because you certainly can. But that spring through the fall is certainly going to be the peak season. Look, these are really, really fast growing fish. And there's a lot of them. The vast majority of them are going to be schoolies in the three to eight pound range. The fish that make it beyond that are going to be gaffers in the teens. And then, of course, beyond that, the coveted slammer. That's what we're really looking for. But we're prepared. We're prepared to tangle with the schoolies with some lighter outfits. We've got some bigger outfits rigged and ready in the event that we see any bigger fish. But that's the key to dolphin fishing is being well prepared. We're going to talk a lot about what we're looking for. For. We're going to talk a lot about our trolling spread. We're going to talk a lot about fishing bait and artificial for these lures. I mean, artificial lures for these fish. A little breezy right now. We've got a little bit of a chop, but it's supposed to fizzle out and be absolutely beautiful. So I'll tell you what, I guarantee it's going to be an action packed show. Stick around. I think it's just a matter of time before one of these Shimano Talica starts screaming. Got to be able to read the birds, you know. We're looking for birds. We're looking for that grass coupled with the birds. That's going to be the key. Right now, I'm zoning in on one frigate that's looking around. And that's all it takes sometimes is that one bird to let you know that somebody's home. Somebody's around. If you're starting to see a lot of small birds picking off the water, working like crazy, generally the smaller dolphin, tunas, Bonitas, skippies, things to that nature. When you start to see the frigates, they lead the way to the slammers and the gaffers. So we just pushed our way out here. We're in 670 right now. I saw this nice, well-formed weed line and coupled with the frigate bird. So I said, hey, let's throw it on a troll. We put some Zack Attack lures out. Not a complicated spread, four or five baits. That's all that we need. We're just trying to find some schools of fish, hook one on the troll, throw a few freebies, and then it's game on, baby. We catch them on the spinners. But to find them, there's no better way than just a simple trolling pattern. And for me, I like those small baits. All right, I'm seeing some stuff here. Some floating debris right there maybe on the surface. Definitely a nice formed line right here on this edge heading right to the east. Now these lines will form oftentimes back to back parallel. 
And not every line, of course, is going to hold fish, right? Not every depth. So maybe give it a mile. Give it a couple of miles if it looks real good. You don't see anything, push out. See if you find another well-formed line in a different depth. That bait is ideal for trolling at like four to five knots. We're tro oh, 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 there's a fish, nice. there's a fish. Right there, right there. Keep going, nice, gonna nice, keep nice. going nice. here. Nope. Oh. oh, a little schoolie, just a little schoolie. We're just gonna keep going, see if we double up. If exploring the ocean never gets old, if getting salty is something you crave to repeat time and again, if fun in the sun is how you make new friends and stay close to old ones, if you agree time on the water is time well spent, then we build CVs for you and those you call friends and family. For the memories you've yet to make and the friends you've yet to meet, CV Boats lead the way. Above deck or below, Easy Anchor Puller is the way to go. From the Hero Series pontoon anchoring solutions on freshwater lakes and rivers to the Rebel Freefall Series, when fast anchor deployment is critical in deep coastal salt water, there's an Easy Anchor Puller for every application. Aluminum or fiberglass boat Easy Anchor Puller drum anchor winches are compact enough to fit in tight spaces and made with all 316 stainless steel components so you can easily mount them above deck or below. Visit EasyAnchorPuller.com, call one 800 1640 today. Dependable terminal tackle. It's vital in every venue. That's why professional anglers targeting bonefish to blue marlin rely on diamond fishing products. With an extensive selection of the finest monofilaments, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world, it's time you avoid the rest and rig with the best. Diamond fishing products, the official line of Florida Sport Fishing TV, tournament winning fishing teams, and busy charter captains from coast to coast. short right yeah and that short little zack attack now i'm gonna get a spinning rod rigged and ready because if there's any more with them i don't want to fumble around i want to be able to just throw a bait real quick and see if we can double up just be ready he's a tough guy look at him there he is just got our first fish on the troll just a flipper gonna grab the leader and get in there oh there nice not a giant by any means, but you know what? We'll take it, right? The first dolphin's the hardest All one, right. baby. Let me push him back up. Yep. Let me push him back up and get that spread set again. Oh yeah. He couldn't resist that little guy. Sargasm weed. Tell you what, it's been a big, big problem over recent years throughout the whole Caribbean. Understand what this is. It's actually an algae that reproduces on the surface of the ocean. And lately, over the last decade, there have just been massive blooms attributed to pollution, climate change, all sorts of different factors. And interestingly, a little piece of that sargasm can break off, float around, and then completely just multiply. And then once it dies, it'll actually sink and lay on the ocean floor, where, of course, it deteriorates and serves a lot of different purposes. On the surface, it's used by game fish, turtles, seabirds. It's absolutely vital habitat. However, when it washes up on beaches, the aroma is absolutely terrible when it's decaying. It's unsightly. Hundreds of millions are being lost to tourism all over the world, so they need to find ways to utilize the sargasm, and recently they have. There's actually different industries that are utilizing it. Fertilizer is a very big one. Feed for livestock is another big one. And believe it or not, paper products. They're actually making paper products out of sargasm weed. It flows all throughout the North Atlantic. There's a giant area called the Sargasso Sea that's just absolutely loaded in potentially 100 million tons of this stuff floating around out there. So, you know, but for fishermen, it's, it's a gold mine. It really is. 
you know, keep your eye out for it when you're offshore and, you know, understand that there's pros and cons to all weed. Pros Tip, proudly presented by DeBro Fishing, innovative tackle storage solutions for every venue. Learn more online. On today's Pros Tip, guys, let's talk about an absolutely vital tool when you're offshore dolphin fishing, and that's a pair of stabilized binoculars. Look, even with the bird mode on the radar, I'm still using glasses, I'm still using binoculars to get a really clear view of everything that's happening around me. These things are worth their weight in gold, not only for safe navigation and low light situations, but again, to be able to spot debris way out in the distance, see other boats out in the distance and what they're doing, really a vital tool. Your eyes can only see so much. And this right here is a game changer. I tell you, these schoolies are not big fish, but they're, they're so fun. much fun. Yeah. And this is what dolphin fishing's all about, baby. Getting multiple fish on on the troll. There we go. This is a school of them. Let's see if we can multitask here and throw a few baits. They came in from the side and we're on every bait. Not gonna take a lot, just throwing a couple. I think you're over top of that one. I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna flip. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit better for yeah, sure a little better you know it's hectic but you just gotta stay cool stay calm stay focused. try and stay organized see if you can turn a couple of fish into multiple fish that's the key oh oh there's one on the bait oh nice there's one on the bait oh a little bit better too nice Sweet. you see that worked out exactly the way that we anticipated get them around the boat there we go. Doesn't take a lot, just a couple of baits. Not a lot. I don't want to overdo it. These fish are aggressive, they're feeding. It's not going to take a lot to keep them interested. Ready? One, two, three, oh! <laughs> oh yeah, that's All right. a little better. All right. That's definitely a little better. The best days happen out here. Where the only thing on the line is what you can catch. And every cast could be the one that fills your memories with the fish of your lifetime. Mercury engines are made for exploring. So are you. Go boldly. On and off the water, anglers and boaters protect valuable gear with dry deck. Indestructible, self-draining 12-inch tiles interlock the cover, cushion, and protect any surface, and easily trim for a custom fit with no special tools or adhesive. UV stabilizers prevent fading, antimicrobials keep everything dry and odor-free, and cleanup is simple. I don't only stand behind dry deck, I stand on it. Available at your local marine supply store and factory direct at drydeck.com. For over 80 years, Furuno Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet CZ Touch 3's new PBG and Fish It Drifted Technologies. Build your own three-dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. Chaos. Gear matters. Yeah. Oh my god! That right there, baby, is deep dropping. Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. Let's talk about trolling speed. Really important here, and it's gonna vary. It's gonna vary on a couple of different factors. Number one, what baits are you pulling? Look, if you're pulling artificial lures, you control them faster than natural baits. That's the bottom line. And when I say natural bait, I'm talking about rig ballyhoo. Even with, you know, a chugger type lure, an island lure, you know, whatever it may be on top of that ballyhoo, ultimately it's gonna wash out. 
So generally, we'll troll the ballyhoo at six to eight knots in that ballpark. However, the artificial lures, little chuggers, bullets, feathers, are more in that eight to 10 mile an hour range, certainly faster, okay? Especially on a calmer day. That's really the second main factor. It's the baits and the sea conditions. The calmer it is, the faster you can go. I promise you, you're not gonna outrun the fish. It's not gonna happen. Coming back for it. That's it, he ate it, dude. Ate it. Yep. Whoa, oh, yes! Oh. oh! That was crazy. You spit it, right? Yeah. Let me get oh! That. Coming on my bobber. Oh, is that a nicer one? The one that just took my bait? There you go. That's a little bit better. Yeah. All right, keep them in the water. I'm going to try and hook up on another bait rod here. Look at the colors on that thing. Just gorgeous. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, they're right behind the boat here. Oh, there's him. Look at him. He's chasing him. He's chasing my pillow. Oh, Whoa, what a jump. <laughs> Got him. Doubled up. Doubled up. Woo hoo. One going one way, one going the other. See if we can get a nice clean release. Oh, ate the hook. Yeah, mine real, ate, real mine deep. Mine ate the hook too. Real deep. Ate that hook look all the way down in there. In this case, look, I'm not gonna try and pull it out. I'm just gonna cut that line. Mwah. Go, and that's it. And that hook will come out. I'm gonna do more damage. If I go to try and rip that hook out, it's gonna rip out the entire guts of that fish, at least now. Stands a chance. I don't know what the fish's odds are, but I know they're greater than if I ripped its face off. Rigging Station, proudly presented by VMC, your expert in hooks. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Rigging Station. You're watching us out there crushing a the schoolie dolphin. However, success, it's all about preparation. I want to talk to you really quickly here about the tackle that we were fishing here today in detail. For starters, you know the idea is to troll some of those fish, catch a few on the troll, bring them to you. Seven foot chaos gold, 15 to 30 pound class rod matched to a Shimano Talica 16. Loaded 20 pound diamond line, high vis makes it really easy to track the lures. Perfect combination, a ton of line capacity, silky smooth drag, incredibly light, comfortable, but yet effective on a wide variety of different size class fish. In addition to the small Zack Attack micro trolling lures, some Mad Max from Nomad that we had way back there getting bit. Once we get those fish next to us, we switch over to the spinning outfits. Primarily, look, I'm looking at the fish. I see what size they are. If they're schoolies, I'm gonna turn to a 6'6 spinning outfit loaded with a Shimano, or I should say match to a Shimano twin power 5,000 spinner. Again, a ton of line capacity, especially with the 20 pound diamond braid. I've got a country mile of line on here. Super smooth drag, that's vital with all of the Shimano reels. You get a big fish on, if that drag sticks, dit, dit, boom, zing pow, you pop them off in a second. So that silky smooth drag is vital no matter what. Uh, again, if the fish is a little bit larger, maybe some gaffers or slammers if we're fortunate, I'm gonna turn to a heavier outfit, 6'6". Six, six. This time, instead of 20 pound braid with a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and a 5.0 VMC live bait hook, I'm switching it up, bumping everything up, 30 pound diamond braid, 40 pound presentation leader, 7.0 VMC live bait hook. Again, primarily, I can see the fish that I'm throwing a bait at. If it's a bigger fish and I need a bigger outfit, that's what I'm gonna turn to. Finally, I'm never gonna go offshore without a rod to throw poppers, a long rod, eight foot, don't be afraid of it. Twin power, 8,000, 20 pound diamond line. I don't need the high vis in this application. The long rod gives me incredible casting distance along long weed lines, patches, fish that are away from the boat, and especially into the wind, a really important tool. And of course, a jigging rod. Look, our standard 6.3 slow pitch jigging rod. I'm out there, I'm gonna be fishing 600 to 1200 feet of water. Jigging is gonna happen no matter what, so make sure you bring a jigging outfit. Look, you may need them all, you may need none of them, okay? But you've gotta be well prepared to be successful. Woo! Nice dolphin. That's what we're looking for right there, baby. Woo! 
I'm going to clear these other lines. That's a bigger fish right there. Not a giant, but that's a bigger fish. Get this up. Yeah, that's a nice Did fish. You see him? Did you see him? Yep. There you go. There you go. You just focus on that fish. Now, what I'm doing is just really, you know, I'm sight fishing here. I'm looking in the water. I want to see if anybody else shows up. Maybe just throw one more out on a spinner. In case there's another one with him. Yep. The more calm you stay, the more fish you exactly. put in the Exactly. Be a little bit more methodical. Throw this out. So I just threw an, a live bait relatively close to where his fish is because oftentimes, of course, other fish will follow that fish. I'll bring him this time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Got him. Nice pull. Nice pull. In the boat. In the boat. Nice. Woo! All right. All right. Good That's job. what we want right there, baby. Look, not a super clean gap shot, but I'll tell you what, the in only the shot that you might get, <laughs> and he's in the boat. So that's what matters. Now, of course, easily distinguishable as a bull from that blunt nose right there. And one of the most fastest growing fish, I mean, that fish right there under ideal conditions, that fish can gain over 30 pounds in a single year. Crazy. In a single year, that fish is well under a year old right there. Yeah. Beautiful, a beautiful colors, hard fighting. <sighs> Just about everywhere around the state of Florida and certainly everybody's favorite game fish is the dolphin. Mahi tacos. Since 1977, the legendary 100-foot Yankee Captains has set the standard for overnight fishing. With the latest sonar technology and unrivaled service, no one does it better. Whet your appetite with a two or three day trip to the world famous Dry Tortugas, or jump aboard an epic four day adventure to the rich waters of Pulley Ridge and beyond. Fish around the clock, relax in air conditioned comfort, catch the trophy of a lifetime. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Salt Life Sunglasses, unparalleled polarized protection with anti-glare properties and special coatings to repel water and oil. Jigs R Us, a massive selection of slow pitch jigs in stock and ready for delivery. Free shipping at JigsRUs.com and your entire order will arrive rigged and ready to fish. Keep Woo! one in the water. Keep one in the water. Woo! Just keep one in the water. Yep. There you go. Just throw a few chummers and a couple there's pieces a whole bunch. of cut there's bait. A whole bunch. The Dude, there's 30 behind the boat. Yep. Let's I'm get another one school. hooked up. I'm holding the school right here. And this is it. We're just going to go into rotation here. Yep. Take your time. Get another one hooked up. Oh, nice fish. Decent. Decent one. Be getting a bite pretty soon. All right, I'm hooked up. You can get yours. Look at all the bait. Look at all the bait. Crazy oh. amount of bait. Crazy fish and so bait. So we're going to keep Where one fish in the water right here. Oh! <laughs> then you go ahead, get yours unhooked. You can see all of the dolphin all over the place here. And look, I'm reading the fish. See how aggressive they're being? So I can throw a few baits, you know? Let them eat. Get them all. Look at how fired up they are. Wow. All right, is he hooked good, I think? Good job, good job. Good job. You know, but you've got to be ready because you never know when that big, when boy. That big bull's going to show up. There's one, there's one right there. Oh! Nice. Small one, pull the hook on him. You want to get another one in? I'll yeah, keep yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep I'm that one keep right this there. One right here. He's got 20 followers. Let's throw a few Let more chunks, keep them interested. Go right here, you got it. One at a time here, just systematically picking these things off. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I'm going to slide in. There we go. All right. You get him, get him up and in the boat. Watch yourself. There you go. Woo! Get that other spinner. Look at that big school of dolphin. Big school. Look, we'll just throw a look, one chunk. 
Don't go crazy. Don't overfeed them. Read the fish. Look how aggressive they're being. Hold on, okay. hold on. I gotta get my hook out. Okay, I don't wanna overfeed them. I don't wanna lose them. I just wanna keep them interested. Just taking turns here. We're leaving one fish in the water. Hook another one. Get this one in. And keep going back and forth, just rotating. Coming There's right a big school you. around us. It's easy to get carried away, you know. There's three of us. You are allowed ten dolphin in federal waters. Ten or five? Well, you're allowed five in state. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Oh, the flying fish. What the flying that? fish. Yes, yes, get the flyer. Now, this lure is made to troll, but. Oh, there he is! There he is! Him, there he is nice. on the flyer! <laughs> nice! Let me get this out. Woo! That is crazy. Sick. On the slipstream, baby! Look at it in his mouth. There it is, right there. Look at that, right in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll wait for you to hook up. Hooked up. All right, ready? I'm going to flip this guy in. Go ahead. Ready? There we go. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. On the slipstream. But he says, hey, that Nomad Flyer, does it work? Well, you just uh, proved it to us. Boom. Connect with the crew on Instagram at Florida Sport Fishing TV. Catch our extreme seminar series at www.fsftv.com and get hooked up.